What is up guys, Brendan here, and we're back with another review. So, we are here, um, on my tripod, actually. Finally, I got a tripod. Um, and we are standing before something so iconic and original, it doesn't even need an introduction. You all know what this is, who this is, and what he does, and what movie he is from. Just by looking at his long, bloody machete, you can tell that this is Jason Voorhees. Like I said, he needs no introduction. He is such an iconic figure, and I'm so glad that I have him in my collection. So, um, today I'm just going to be going over some of the details that Jemmy has put into this life-size figure that are so spot-on and just so amazing. So, um... Yeah, like I always do, I'm going to start from the base down. He has the Jemmy Classic boots, the black boots, with the iconic purple button. I, I know I'm using the words classic and iconic a lot. You're going to be hearing that a lot. So, we also have the Try Me button down in the left corner. And we have his black pants, which are a very nice fabric. And going up, he has his nice uh, green, brownish uh, jacket. And his undershirt. And you can tell the undershirt is a little bit uh, ripped. Uh, that is the way it came. And that is how Jemmy wanted it to be. Which is amazing how they put all those little details and tears into the clothing. Now going on to the jacket itself. You have rips. You have uh, what I really like here is how they split the uh, jacket on the end of the sleeve. To give it sort of that, uh, you know, messed up kind of look. And overall, the jacket is 100% just amazing quality for the price it comes for. It retails around, I would say, $250. Uh, that's the price I've, I've saw, I've seen in the uh, past Lowe's video. Um, but I'm not exactly sure on that. Now, his gloves are also very amazing. Uh, a lot of worn out features were put into them and I really, really do uh, sort of admire how much time and effort they put in to just designing the clothes that he wears. You know, they're not just thrown on, they're not, it's not a one piece um, outfit like you see on the props today. It is 100%, you know, reliable and good clothing. So, and he also has a machete, and his machete is very nice, thick plastic. So that also is a plus for him. And, yeah, I think that's all clothing-wise. Now you have his hockey mask, which you cannot, you know, see and not realize who that is. So, he has a very worn-out hockey mask, and I'm going to try to pause the camera on that and so yeah it's you know you can see it's all worn out around the holes Ooh, sorry uh, it's all worn out around the holes uh, it's just dirty overall it's really cool and he has I don't know if you can see it yeah you can he has metal you know buttons that hold in the uh, the straps around his head and of course they had to add this in his face. Trying to turn this. I can't. I'm not gonna force it. Um, he has a really nasty face. Might have some might have some paint chips, which is fine. But um yeah they add the really nasty detail into the teeth. Um he has that missing nose and he has his turning eyes and I just I really think that this prop was very well made because you have those occasional, you know, just little cuts on him and bruises and a lot of time was put into this because they know that people like us, um, they just love something that's so accurate to the movie. And I think this is by far the most accurate life size that I've seen. I don't I think this is the only I, I haven't really seen another life size Jason that was manufactured. 
Um, I'm sure I've seen it somewhere, but I don't remember. So, yeah, just the skin tone of it is it's really amazing, all the work they put into it. Even the little hairs, I forgot to mention. He has little hairs. This is the 2008 version, so it does not have as many hairs. The difference between the 2007 and the 2008 is the machete is straight up and down on the 2007, and it also has more hair. But on the 2008, the arm is more, let me show you, it is more to the side. It's not directly up and down, uh, as you can tell. So that's, mine is a 2008, and it doesn't have as much hair. Now, I would like to have a 2007, but I am super happy with my 2008. And sorry, guys, this is not for sale, and this will never be for sale or trade. Just because this is one of my first life sizes, and I really enjoyed because that was my first Craigslist deal I've ever done as well. So, yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm going to play him for you because I know you guys are all anxious to see him. Let me just get the mask down. All right, I'm gonna try to put the tripod back a little bit more. All right, guys, I think this is the best shot I can get. This is literally, I'm literally balancing the tripod on my bed. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy the demo and yeah, so here we go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.